Shaggers, legends, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are on planet Earth. I am starting a brand new series on this channel where I open mystery boxes. How very creative and original. And whatever kit is inside, if it's a home kit, a goalkeeper kit, an away kit, or a third kit, I will do a tier list of ranking every best third home away, whatever it is, of the last 20 years. Let's clack this baby open, shall we? Yeah, boy, yeah, boy. This is exactly the same kit. I went to Turkey when I was about 16, right? And you know you can get all those fake footy shirts. This is the exact one that I had. My one was fake. This one is real. This is, because I'm such a little nerd and I was obsessed with this kit on FIFA, this is the Galatasaray 2010-11 third shirt. Look at this beauty! Right, let's get straight into it. Then let's do a tier list of every single Galatasaray third kit over the last 20 years. Kicking us off with 2003 Four. I actually quite like the old logo with the black around the crest as well. The three stars, the nice little stripes as well. Not too similar to the home kit. I'm going to go with a simple gentleman's. All right. It's not really that standout, is it? 2004, 2005, sticking with Umbro as well. I couldn't actually find a good picture. This is just a graphic of what it is. I love the av av Avia. Yeah, I can read. Don't you worry about that one. And the yellow stripes going down as well. Umbro did make some quality kits in the early 2000s, but sort of lost their way after the 1990s, in my humble opinion. So this one, the following year, is going to the same bracket as all right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, baby. The introduction of Adidas, the same crest, the same sponsor, but look at all of the different colours on this kit, mate. Black, red, yellow, everything that symbolises Galatasaray, mate. And this is exactly what you want from a third kit. When you get a third kit, it needs to be a bit more trippy, a bit more hip. You haven't really got that with this, but it is very, very smart. I am putting this one in the Deece category. 2006-07, this is literally the Liverpool home shirt of that same year, but in a charcoal colour with the Turkish badge on there, the Avira as well, Adidas in the middle as well. The collar is just perfection, baby. I'm going to go straight for it and say that the 2006-2007 third kit is world class. Again, mate, it's pretty much the same without the collar, but they've gone for all black and all of the colours blending in together, mate. And also the little, uh, the little designs on the sleeves as well of the three stripes where it looks almost like rusty. It looks almost very, very rusty, very creative words you've come up with there, Harry. But I love it. I love it so much that I'm going to put it in Dece. Right, this is our first issue with Galatasaray's third kit, 2008. I searched long and hard to make sure that this was actually the third kit of Galatasaray, but it's pretty much identical to what they release as a home strip. I don't know how you can get away with calling this a third kit because it's exactly the same as what they would do with the home. Almost like, it's, it's, it's a very dark red, almost like a burgundy and yellow. Those are Galatasaray's colours. Those what they have always been for the home strip. But to release a third kit like this is just lazy, mate. It's pure laziness. You can probably tell they didn't actually want to wear it that much. And I'm getting it straight in stinks because there's no creativity that's gone into this at all. <laughs> 2009. Um, hey kids, it's me, Barney. Uh, purple. Um, purple actually looks all right. Uh, but not on this. Sorry. Yeah, it's not for me, thanks, chaps. I think he's, as soon as you put a purple on a t-shirt, if you've got a purple, do you know what? Purple just doesn't work for anything. Purple stinks. And I'm putting, do you know what? It doesn't stink that bad. I'm putting 2009 in Burn It. Get it off my screen now. 2010 11, the kit that we got in this month's mystery box. I've always been in love with it ever since that I was a teenager, mate. I always wanted a pink kit. I got that with Fulham this year, and now I've got another pink kit kit in my mystery box so where does this rank really where does this rank i think having a pink kit is just outrageously sexy i think it's unbelievably classy and that's why 2010 11 has to go straight in the category of world class anything different 
you're a liar. It does not stink. The purple one, which is pretty much identical to this, stinks because the colours just don't work. 2011 is pretty basic, but in a weird way, you actually can't hate on it, to be honest with you. I think if the Turk Telecom was red as well, like the collar, like the stars, like the Nike badge as well. I think we would have a solid kit on our hands. But, mate, it just goes into the all right category. That's it. Now we're talking 2012, mate. Look at this stunning piece of art. The Turk Telecom almost in a darker orange with the Nike logo in a yellow as well. How it's split in half like a Galatasaray home shirt is just gorgeous. The red and also the maroon as well. This is how a third kit should look. 2012. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. This is going straight in world class. <laughs> 2013, baby. Uh... Is it, uh, is this, oh uh, God, the, the kit designer of the third shirt for 2013 was definitely like, wow, we've got so many sales with 2012. Let's pretty much try and release the same kit again, but put less stripes on it. Don't blend the bo both colours in with each other. Make the Turk Telecom a bit more less visible and let's change the color of also the nike logo as well it um actually stinks um it's just too similar to the other one because there's no real thought that has gone into this and that makes me sick when you've got someone that's creating and designing these kits you need to have the best people on planet earth this just seems like an afterthought 2014 what in the sports direct is this if mystery shirt in a box are watching this right now if you try and send me one of these i will sue I will sue. I don't have any money. I don't have money for a lawyer. But seriously, I will meet you in court because this is just absolute Matalan. This is the sort of thing you'd find in TK Maxx, mate. Purple does not work. It just looks like a training top. It looks like a training top. What is the point? It's like, it's like you'd see a manager rock up to their press conference in it. The, at least, the uh, thing is, a collar. I love a collar so, so much. But at least put the collar in white. Or something like that to make it stand out for make everything everything has its own sexy part of it but this is not sexy at all orange and purple it's just rough mate burn it burn it to the ground 2015 big fan of this mate big big fan of this one i love it i can't really tell if it's orange pink red or just a blend of every single one the only thing that i would probably change is having that nike logo in white then we're away with the wheel off as well. I love the Turkish uh, flag in the middle. I think that is because Galatasaray probably won the title that season. And also look at the sleeves as well. The black blending into the red, orange or pink, whatever you want to call it, mate. I'm going to put this. It'll probably be a bit too tight on me, but I'm going to put it straight up in Dece. All right, I was saying some bad things about purple kits, but this is actually unreal. 2016, this is what... A third kit should look like. I hate the V-neck. I hate V-necks. I don't want my chest hair coming out. I don't want my fat neck getting all yeah exposed. You're probably thinking this is a V-neck right here, right now, but it's not. This is a nice little umbro drill top. It's got a nice little bit in the middle. The stripes going across. The white up into the purple up there is just top tier, mate. I couldn't find one with a sponsor on it, but with a Turk Telecom or whatever it's going to be, this is an instant. This is an instant decent, mate. Very, very decent. If there was a bracket between world class and very, very decent, it would be right up there. 2017. This, again, is how you do purple right, mate. You put purple with a black colour and it looks unbelievable. If I I was a Galatasaray fan or I got this in a mystery box I would be all over it I would probably pay double the money to mystery shirt in the box mate it's classy just look at it for god's sake 2017 top of the range mate world class category well done now we're talking now we are talking mate look 2018 Look at it, I just do a bit of research into what the kit actually meant. The line going through the middle is the Bosporus straight, by the way. Hopefully, I have said that correct. This is a natural state that separates Europe and Asia inside of Istanbul and Turkey. Galatasaray is on the European side of Turkey. And just look at it. This is when I love third kits because they bleed in a bit of culture 
into kits and it means something to a lot of people mate it's just creativity if you look back at some of the early ones when you think of like ones that look like the home kit and they're a third kit it's just just it's just poor or you're trying to release the same kit back to back this is world class this is right up there all of those world class kits i would easily wear 2019 stinks 2019 stinks is this an advertisement for 50 shades of gray is that what it is so many different shades of gray and when has gray ever gone with orange Seriously, and a, and a burgundy Nike logo is awful, mate. Burn it straight to the ground. It doesn't just stink. It needs to be burned. Hey, this right here, man. This is what I love. This looks like one of those lollipops that you'd get. Not a lollipop. Not a lollipop, Harry. One of those ice creams, but it's not an ice cream. A, what is it called? What's it called? How's my mind gone blank already? Ice lolly, ice lolly. This looks like an ice lolly that you would get as a kid, mate. Just look at it. This is a work of art in 2020. It's such a shame that this was a COVID season, mate, because the orange, the red, everything just bleeds and blends so nicely. I think you've got a few little stripes going down the bottom as well. The black crest looking like a gorgeous sunset in Istanbul. The black stars as well. The black Nike logo, which also has the yellow going out around it, mate. This is world class. This is top tier. Well, well done, Nike. Well done. 2021 basic as anything mate i think this i think the all right category needs a bit of loving so that's going in there 2022 pretty much the exact same kit goes and stinks because there's no, there's no creativity that has gone into this i love the sixth i actually like the badge a little bit as well it's actually pretty good but when you're releasing pretty much the same kit every single year get a bit of creativity i could not find a third kit for the 2023 24 season do they exist? I don't know. I never thought I'd actually see the day as well where world class would outweigh every single other category. Fair play, Galatasaray. You've actually dropped some unbelievable kits. And thank you so much to Mystery Shirt in a Box. I can't wait to see what I get next month. Remember, this is not a paid promotion and I will pay them whatever money they want. Please remember, if you're new here, make sure to do us a massive solid and subscribe to the channel just down below and let me know what your favourites were as well.